So then lads, we are here with a little bit of a gaming video. Today I'm going to do a reaction video, which obviously I react to Newcastle games and stuff like that. But we're going to be reacting to a video. I've said in yesterday's video, um, this video is getting recorded on the 7th and it's getting uploaded the 8th. EA Sports have just released the career mode trailer and I've not watched anything yet. And obviously this year I'm going to be doing a career mode. So before I start the video, we're going to watch the trailer, speak about little things and then what you're going to see in the career mode for f for FC25 next year. Make sure to leave a like, button, subscribe to the channel. I've put a lot of work recently getting all the stream and stuff, getting ready and, and all the gaming videos are going to be back to where they were um, back in the good old days but I can't can't wait hopefully everything goes to well hopefully everything goes planned and, and whatnot so we'll have to wait and see what happens let's get to this video now I've not watched a single thing yet so hopefully it's not going to disappoint right then EA Sports 25 official career mode deep drive let's have it to be a legend in the game you have to take I've already pre-ordered the game so you can say that you have to go where no one else has gone Career mode in 25 is the most forward thinking in FC history. Real life tactics and situations with live start points, player career with icons, and I'm delighted to introduce women's one. football to career. Yeah, thanks Mia. Let's get into it. Firstly, the, the I don't really have I've done a player career with icons, but that is a, a nice touch, I think. Obviously Beckham there in a Real Madrid top. I've seen a couple of us, I think, on the um, the beat I bought, I think that's a good addition so far. FC25 marks a new era for both manager and player career. Players will be able to live out real world stories from the biggest leagues in the world with live start points. This is. Oh! Live out. Right, one thing about a career mode, boys, and what it will probably be like for the channel, I hate being unrealistic. I hate when people start a career mode and then sign ridiculous players and players who just aren't going to sign for that club. Real what have I just seen there? In the biggest leagues in the world with live stuff. Take the veins for your favourite club and lead your squad with a fresh new season. Experience... Okay, obviously I will be starting with a fresh new season when we do start it, but... Okay. Start points. This is the biggest update we've added to career in years. In FC25, you can experience the drama of any team's real-world season. Pick up from where a team or player has left off that week and you'll have to deal with the related league standings, fixtures, injuries and transfers. Or start from a special snapshot moment, a curated starting point based on a newsworthy situation at a specific club. Be it at a manager sacking, a big transfer, a team overperforming and so on. We've also got loads of new updates across manager mode, driven by FC IQ. Obviously, SCIQ is massive this year. It's obviously a mass massive part of an ultimate team as well, where like your normal manager de depends who it is and he has a certain form. It, it, there's so much stuff, like custom tactics and stuff this year are going to be massive. Obviously, I'm not going to show this type of stuff when I do the career mode. I'm literally going to be second players playing games and trying to get as many games done as possible. So you won't see all this FCIQ stuff. If you want to give recommendations when I want the actual career mode, I would uh, appreciate it by way of team tactics and player roles. Player roles add a dimension to tactics beyond player positions and drive success more than ever in career, on and off the pitch. Picking the right player roles is a key factor across player development, staffing, scouting, training and coaching, and it helps fuel and influence player and squad cohesion. Something our community has been asking for is an update to press conferences. Just a couple of questions for you. So we've used FCIQ to change how these work, to make them more dynamic, Reporters will ask questions that are specific to your tactical choices, your players and their roles. Your answers affect the updated morale system, so managers will have to find the right balance between critique and praise. Obviously, I think when I can't remember what FIFA it was when they brought in press conferences, but that's not changed since then. At least they've changed a little bit there. Obviously, it doesn't look too different, but obviously that's stuff that you're not going to be saying anyways because it's just like background shit that you don't really need to see. We've also updated the Youth Academy, starting with expanding the list of countries that you can send youth scouts to. And once you've identified the next big thing, of course, you've got to develop their talent, which is why we've integrated Rush 5v5 matches into Youth Academy. By playing in Rush That's matches, a good torture, it's really good. Can actively boost youth development over the course we'll of the really, I won't really be interested in, in, the final, in that personally, but the maximum boost, other people will, will love that. your next rising star will be that much closer to achieving their first team dream. Watch as your youth squad players physically grow up over the years, 
We've also added a long requested feature to career gameplay, simulation settings. With it enabled, teams will play a more deliberate style of play, closer to what you'd see in a real world football match. Taking it a step further, we've developed a dynamic sim setting that changes aspects of the AI's play from one game to the next. There's when it comes to that, obviously I don't change anything. I'll probably be playing the career mode either on world class or legendary, depending on how I'm feeling with the game at the start. Um, obviously you can see, obviously I know this FIFA as well, the weather affects how the game actually plays. And obviously simulation modes are good for like people doing man um, like managers, but are, are just being the manager where they're not really playing. Obviously we'll be playing the games and trying to get the castle back to Champions League football. Real world but, football match. Um, Taking it a step further. It's a good, good one, I was going to say, yeah. Gameplay type, obviously, we're just going to be playing classic games, keeping everything as, as simple as possible and... and aye. ...developed a dynamic sim setting that changes aspects of the AI's play from one game to the next. There's really exciting things happening with player career as well. Player career with icons. Now, you can take existing icons and put them in any team of your choice and see them perform alongside today's players. Or you want any player, any like icon, any team, so I can have so better the opportunities to evolve career and will have different sets of icons to choose from as the game progresses. In football, a good story is everything. In FC25, we've made it so that players will have more flexibility in setting up their story of their player career. Storylines have expanded to the classic rags to riches story. Oh, that's, that's, that's good, oh, that's parents, really good. Or coming back from a career threatening injury. The story you select will have an impact on and off the pitch, from generating reactions on social media to influencing gameplay attributes and playstyles. Further in our commitment to representing women's football within FC, Most in FC25, we'll introducing <laughs> the world's top five women's leagues into both manager and player career. In manager career, managers will be able to move freely between managing men's and women's teams. And in player career, they can play for any of these top clubs. And finally, across both modes, we've designed a new visual system that has a slicker and more simple UI. Straight away, I think career mode, the, the layout, it's always been the same. There's been a little bit of change. That actually looks quite quite, quite clean and quite nice where, I know other FIFA has, where it's just simply not changed. Which is the nice. new suggested task list that helps players with their next important decision. And of course, we've upped social media in FC25. I have seen this social media, so if we're citing a player for Mitchell Romano who's going to report it, who's going to report in the career mode? Obviously, let me know um, in the comments. Playthroughs are now powered by partnerships with some of the biggest news outlets in football, like Fabrizio Romano, who will be keeping you up to date with all the latest transfer information. Play well, and the fans will wonder if you deserve a statue. Play not so great, and well, they'll let you know. And that's everything new to Korea in FC25. Welcome back to the world's game. Now, what will you do for the club? Okay, let's have a little little rundown. Personally, there's not a lot, a lot of change. I thought I was expecting, not expecting a lot more. I wasn't expecting a lot less. I feel like they've actually changed some stuff, which is nice to see, but it's still gonna just feel the normal way still gonna be a, a career mode um i've seen as well apparently it's gonna be hard at the same players um which is which is quite good i think in my opinion so you can't just splash a cash on anyone and, and and stuff like that i don't know how hard it is to sell players because i'm thinking about already selling a couple of players in that newcastle united squad at the minute so i'll see it makes some funds to to buy some money but Overall, um, I'm excited for career mode next year. I actually want to like, stick to it because the amount of times where I go, oh, I'll do it, I'll do it, and I, and I never end up do, you know what I mean? I actually want to stick to it and try and produce the best sort of career mode I can. I'm not going to drag it out. I'm not going to like make the episodes dead long. I want to short, snappy, and just something that's going to be enjoyable to watch. And if it's Newcastle fans watching, if it's not Newcastle fans watching, hopefully we're going to have a good career mode and hopefully a good year and hopefully sign some good players. And yeah, I think the main point of doing a career mode and doing more gaming videos is like, I've got a brand new like PC. I'm on next gen console now. It's, it's, it's why not? Do you know what I mean? We need to try and produce this, the best content we can. A career mode is going to hopefully help the channel and hopefully it can 
come off good. Obviously, I've spoken a little bit there, but watch the video. That is my thoughts on, on the Newcastle United career mode coming next year to um, FC 25. Not that long. It really isn't. I think it's about five or six weeks till the game comes out. So, honestly, boys, really not long. Obviously, at the very, very start of the game, I'll probably just be doing Ultimate Team videos, Ultimate Team streams. By the time the full game comes out, probably, I think it's the 27th, I want to say. Probably by that Friday... That's when we'll probably start doing the career mode around that time. So that's going to be it, boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, Castle. Yeah, Castle.